Welcome to this heavyweight punchdown between the Sony XM4 and the Sennheiser Momentum 3. I am going to run you through 10 quick fire rounds in a bid to find the ultimate winner. So let's go! At the time of making this video, in Australia, the Momentum 3 costs $600 and the XM4 costs only $495. In terms of what is inside the box, the Sennheiser Momentum 3 comes with a USB-C to a USB-A adapter, 3.5mm audio jack, one USB-C cable and a carry case. Now I am not a big fan of this carry case because it is a little on the chunky side compared to other headphones. It is also a little bit difficult to carry around if you have a tightly packed backpack. On the other hand, the XM4s are completely identical in packaging with its predecessors. You get a slimmer but a hard shell case which I personally prefer. It has a 3.5mm audio jack a plug adapter for an in-flight use and a short USB-A to a USB-C cable. I personally prefer Sony's package because I think the hard shell case offers better protection and if and when we all start flying in the future, the in-flight adapter will come in handy. Design-wise, the Sennheiser Momentum 3 has a more sturdy build because it has got stainless steel headbands and genuine leather cushions which feels really really good. And the XM4 has an all plastic and rubber construction which does not make them feel as premium as the Momentum 3. However, the XM4s are 50 grams lighter than the Momentum 3 which coupled with the bigger and softer cushions make them the perfect choice if you plan on wearing them for a very very long period of time. Therefore, I will have to go with the Sony. The X Mark IVs have touch controls that lets you do a lot with touch gestures, but I still find it a little bit finicky at times, mainly on cold mornings when my fingers are not that warm. The Sennheiser however decided to go with the physical buttons that pretty much mimics all of Sony's touch gestures. But the main thing is that they are very accurate and reliable 100% of the time. That's why my personal choice would be the Momentum 3. Both companies have good apps for both iOS and Android that lets you take control of these headphones in a very user-friendly way. But the Sony app has so many options that you can really take customization to a whole new level which I have not seen on many headphones. The Momentums have a battery life of 17 hours while the XM4 has a whopping 30 hours. And when you couple that with 10 minutes of fast charge for a 5 hour worth of juice, there is simply one winner here. The Sennheiser edges out the XM4s in terms of call quality because it is able to cancel more background noise than the Sony. The XM4s however sounds more louder but I kind of feel like I am speaking through a megaphone whereas the Momentums had a more clarity in their sound. So if you're going to take a lot of phone calls on your headphones, then I think you should pick the Sennheiser. Both the headphones perform really well when cancelling out low frequency background noises of an aircraft or subway engine or moving traffic. But the Sony handles high frequency noises so much better with the XM4 that it is truly exceptional. It can even cancel out background human voices so if you want to study in a crowded place you will be better off with the Sony XM4. But having said that, I think Sony wins this round by a very marginal difference. When it comes to sound quality, I felt that both the headphones equally have very good bass presence, a wide sound stage and a great fidelity in both high and low volumes. The Sennheiser app has a 3-bed graphic equalizer that only covers bass, mid and highs, whereas the Sony equalizer has separate dials for highs and bass, which means it can cover 5-band equalization, giving you more options for customizing the sound to your needs. Which is kinda good because the Sony highs are not that clear like the Sennheiser. So more often than I would like to, I had to tweak the equalizer setting to try and make the highs a little bit clearer. You can tell that the Sony is trying to focus more on the bass, which may be good for some people but for all genres of songs or movies that level of bass may not be optimal. It does not feel like that the Sony has a fuller sound to be honest. On the other hand, unlike the Sony XM4, the Momentum 3 supports low latency aptX codec and if you're a true audiophile or a serious gamer then you will appreciate this feature even more. This may ultimately come down to personal preference at the end of the day but my personal pick would be the Sennheiser Momentum 3 as I felt that the sound was more clearer and crispier than the XM4. 
The Sennheiser app lets you locate your headphones with smart dial integration which is unbelievably useful if you can keep track of your things. Whereas with the Sony, there is a plethora of extra features that are super super cool. First, there is the speak to chat feature that automatically pauses the music when you start speaking. You can also hold your hand up against the right ear cup to pause the music and then let ambient sound in. There is 360 audio that gives you the feeling of listening to live music with a Tidal subscription. And most importantly, multi-point connection that lets you connect two devices at the same time. And this technology prioritizes calls. So say for example you're watching a movie on your iPad and a call comes in on your iPhone, the XM4 will seamlessly transition to your phone's call. So yeah, overall it is a landslide victory for the Sony XM4 as it offers better value for money, has lots of features and is truly remarkable with its active noise cancellation. There are more customization options available by the Sony app and the lightweight design is something you will really enjoy on a long journey. But that does not make the Sennheiser Momentum 3 a bad option at all. It is still one of the best sounding headphones on the market that does not cost more than $1000. It has a better premium build quality, has a better microphone system for calls and that much coveted aptX codec support. So guys let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section down below. I feel like I may have angered a couple of you with my comparison here but I would love to hear what your thoughts are. This is Nafi signing off till next week. Peace.